because I smell hay. I know. She says, I can handle the ball and a tarp, but a dead man full of No, nah, she might go into a, a panic. Who knows? <laughs> a dead man full of hay? I'm not sure. I think Billy Bob needs to be stuffed <laughs> again. <laughs> transitions again. Me <laughs> We're going to lose Billy Bob. Diamond says, Diamond's like, I'm out of here. Diamond says, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> he says, you know, it's bad when they get Billy out. I think we need to stuff him some more. Yeah, he's getting a little thin on the inside. We're on the waist area. And he's a Water in those saddlebags, too, by the way. It's okay. Good job. forward.
like he's not going to run you over, then start doing your lope for two or three strides and yield an area, okay? already starting to get her emotion See the difference from the first time she had it on her back and yep. now already? I see a big change already. There. Okay, good. good. Girl. Okay. Do you see a difference? Even though it wasn't. Look up. Yeah, you know, and you fumble it around, and you miss it, and you unbalance yourself, and all this stuff, and that's just perfectly normal stuff, okay? I mean, you can't get away from that, but the more you do it, the better your balance gets, the better your control gets, the better your feel and your timing gets, everything starts to fall in place. And then as time goes on, it's like, hey, you're riding like this, all right? You go, hey, let's stop. Whoa. This is what you need, a walk, trot, and lope with this lead rope and halter. Before we can really advance into refined riding, balance is crucial. So if you can balance yourself, learn to control your horse like this, you're going to go a long way real fast.